Nelson Pleasure Fair. The random jottings of Donald J. in Nelson in Pendle, Lancashire. It was the day of the Nelson Pleasure Fair and the Car Road Recreation Ground was buzzing with excitement. Families were flocking to the fairground, eager to try out the various rides and attractions. Messers. Green Brothers and their followers had supplied a record number of adult rides, each one unique and different from the others. As visitors entered the fairground, they were greeted by the ever-popular Caterpillar ride, which was erected on the spot that had previously accommodated the lessee's golden dragons. Mr. Walter Green was in charge of the Caterpillar ride, and he ensured that it ran smoothly and provided thrills to all who rode it. Arthur Bates's auto scooter cars had come all the way from Burnley, and Mrs. Bates was regulating the traffic, ensuring that everyone had a chance to experience the excitement of the ride. Meanwhile, Miss Nora Collins had charge of Michael A. Collins' Electric Dragons, which had made their first appearance since Messrs. Green ceased touring their fine machine. W. H. Jennings' electric flying chair o planes, complete with an organ, were piloted by Mrs. William Henry, who ensured that everyone had a safe and thrilling ride. Joe Ling's ghost train had Mr. John Ling as the booking clerk, and visitors eagerly waited in line to experience the spooky ride. William Mitchell and Sons Jollity Farm and Motorbike Speedway had the genial Mr. Jack Mitchell in command and visitors young and old enjoyed the fun and excitement of the ride. Silkick Brothers Waltzer was another popular ride, with a first-class organ in the center, and Mr. Lawrence Silkick was always on hand to ensure that everything ran smoothly. For the younger visitors to the fair, there were several roundabouts, including two sets by Richard Kins, Benny, and Jack in command. Miss Lulu Jennings' machine, with a neat and natty organ in the center, was also a popular attraction. And two sets by Swifts, with Arthur Sen and Arthur Jin in charge, provided fun and excitement for the young and the young at heart. The shows were also a big hit with visitors to the fair. Mr. Jack Barry's famous, Wall of Death, gave a thrilling performance, while Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Birch presented their clever water circus. Miss Rosie Brooks from Huddersfield was the fat lady, but Mr. and Mrs. Birch seemed a little less jolly than usual, with hopes for a speedy recovery for their granddaughter Gloria. Gilbert Chadwick had a very nice show, with exhibits including freak animals such as a calf, sheep, kitten, rabbit, lamb, small bull, and more. And no Nelson July Fair would be complete without Bert Hughes's premier boxing pavilion with Mr. Hughes in the pay box, ready to entertain visitors with his boxing prowess. A new attraction at the fair was Mr. John Scott's Royal Circus, featuring Harry Bailey Jr. and other talented performers, as well as the celebrated Scott family. Tipple White's three shows comprised, In Town Tonight, Princess Lena, The Living Doll, and, Senora Senoretta. The In Town Tonight, had a splendid clean, and bright front, and visitors eagerly awaited their turn to experience the shows. The stalls at the fair were also a big hit, with large and small spinner, hooplas, post offices, fish and globes, cardos, and other similar games. The attractions came from all parts, such as Burnley, Warrington, stockton on tees Stratford, Deep Car, Liverpool, and more and they reflected great credit on their respective owners. Mr. Walter Green was in charge of the fair on behalf of Messrs. Green Brothers. By Donald J. Nelson Fair, 1936.